Hey, what's up? How's it going? It's Dave's Watch here, and uh, I'm back. I've been on hiatus for a while, and uh, I just picked up this Omega Speedmaster. All right, let's take a look. Man, these boxes are enormous. They're huge. I mean, these things weigh a ton. And um, I picked this up because this is the only Speedmaster that I have yet to own. And I'm a huge Speedmaster fan. Although they don't really stay in my collection very long, unfortunately. And this one is the Speedmaster reference. My god, these references have gone pretty insane. Reference... 3113043, uh, it's the Sapphire Sandwich. Okay, and uh, let's take a look. I mean, this, this Speedy, right, is the only one I never owned. Right, I've had many vintage Speedies from the Ed White Straight Lug to uh, the one, I forget, it was a 1967 Caliber 3 to 1 movement. Uh, I've had the 861 movements from the 70s, the 80s, uh, the 1861 movements from the 2000s, had the first Omega in space, that was the last Speedmaster I owned and I sold it. And um, this is, I guess, my second Sapphire Omega Speedmaster, and this one's a sandwich. I've always wanted to, 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 to own one of these and just experience the ownership and see what it's like. And it's it's a it's definitely a hefty piece, right? It's it's a beautiful piece, right? It's the Omega Speedmaster. It doesn't get more iconic than this. And um, what I really like about the bracelet now is that it has screws instead of pins, which is really nice, right? And of course, you know this is the version with the exhibition case back, and that movement is is finished really well. So let's see if we can. There you go. Alright, it's, it's, it's a nice movement. It's the 1863 movement. I mean, it's no, like, it's not to patek quality, that's for sure, but but they definitely um, put some effort into that. See, that's nice. Let's press the button, see if there's any. Movement in the movement. Can't really tell. Oh, see the thing moved. There we go. I started the chronograph, stopped it, and oops. Oh, stop, start. So it is pretty movement. The one eight six three. It's a great movement. I mean, these are workhorses, you know, the Omega Speedmaster. Beautiful, iconic watch, but they just don't seem to stay in my collection for very for very long. And, um, you know, I doubt this will stay in my collection for... <laughs> it's probably just a catch and release. I just wanted to see what it's like. Um, yeah, you got some luminescent. Right, it's a great watch, you know, the Omega Speedmaster is, is it's, I always say it's a great entry level wristwatch into the world of fine horology, right? It's, you cannot take anything away from the Omega Speedmaster, right? It's such a, such an iconic watch. I mean, I wear the, the Rolex Yachtmaster, but in terms of provenance and significance, the, the Omega Speedmaster walks all over it, right? And it's half the price of the Yacht Master, you know, maybe even a little less than that, less than half the price. Extremely well made, extremely well finished. And of course it comes with a lot of accessories, there's a loop, and it comes with a loop which is nice, I actually don't own a loop. It comes with a strap tool, uh, tool, a bunch of natal straps, couple of pins and that's basically it right so my thoughts on it yeah it's a great watch you know if you're someone who who really wants to see the movement who enjoys seeing the inner workings of a wristwatch of a fine wristwatch of a legendary movement i think this is the one for you if you don't really care about it or just stick to the regular hesalite crystal and uh, you'll be a very happy 
happy camper. All right, fantastic wristwatch. The Omega Speedmaster is one of my all-time favorites. Uh, will I keep it? Will I flip it? I don't know. Uh, but, you know, what do you think about the, the Sapphire Sandwich? Is it, uh, is it, mm, does it, is it not true to form because it's made, you know, there's sapphire crystals? Or, right, it's probably not the purest, uh, purest watch, but, you know, let's, let's get real now. Uh, for me, I, I don't intend to fly to the moon or go into outer space. So it doesn't really matter if it's Hasselite or, or uh, Sapphire. So long as the manual movement it looks the part, I'm happy with it. All right. Okay. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Bye.